This is the British Broadcasting Corporation. The death has just been announced of the South African leader, Dr. Forster. His condition is described as satisfactory. <laughs> Actually, of course, he is alive and kicking the usual people. Um, <laughs> for the next sketch, Dudley has a rather elaborate costume change. He's um, playing the part of my wife, a part he's been angling for for several years. <laughs> well, actually, it, it's not a very difficult costume change, but uh, the injections are proving a bit painful. <laughs> I think um, it's a typical marital theme, which you'll all recognise. But I think the thing which will amaze you is Dudley's amazing feline grace, and almost animal beauty. after one of your parties is always such tremendous fun. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those nights. <laughs> Mind if I watch the golf, yeah? No, not at all. Say something, darling. No. Don't mind me watching the golf, do you? Of course not. Now we come to the 18th at St Andrews. It's strictly a par five, but in these conditions, I think we can reach the green in two. So there is a bit of trouble on the left, and Trevino is taking a forward in an attempt to reach the green. Rolling on, rolling on, to about three inches from the pin, and that's it. The United States is going to lead Trevino. A tremendous triumph for this finance for Mexico. You feeling all right, darling? Yes, of course. Nothing worrying you at all? Of course there's nothing worrying me, Tony. Oh. <laughs> me? Do you honestly believe that nobody noticed what you and that Natalie were up to by the avocado dip? About <laughs> a mile, dear. Do you think I'm a complete bloody idiot? <laughs> Fabulous meal you made last night, darling. Oh, thank you. Really was terrific, you know, knockout. Did you like soggy sprouts and dried up pork? <laughs> what are we having tonight? Cold pork. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> you sure there's nothing the matter, dear? You, you seem a bit quiet, that's all. It's just a bit of a headache, that's all. Just a headache? Yes, and we all got a bit of a headache last night with you yattering on about Karl Marx, about whom you know bugger all. <laughs> At least Natalie had the good sense to keep quiet while her husband and I were talking about politics. Sweet girl, Natalie. Sweet, strange quality. I wouldn't mind giving her one. Would you like it 
like it now. What? Your piece of pork. Oh, yeah, that would be terrific. Yeah. <laughs> Doris, are you sure there's nothing worrying you? Of course there's nothing worrying me. That skinny little bitch Natalie in her see-through blouse. <laughs> Not very much to see, of course. <laughs> That lot she knew about Karl Marx never opened her mouth. <laughs> well, mind you, of course, I don't suppose she has quite the same trouble with her legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder what's got into her. Here we are, dear. It's been in the fridge. It won't have gone off. quite exhausted. Uh, I think I'll go to bed, Tony. Doris, are you absolutely sure there's, there's nothing worrying you? Of course there's nothing worrying me, Tony. Why do you keep on asking because me? Because you, you seem a bit quiet and, you know, I thought if there was something worrying you, I wanted you to tell me, you know. Uh, I, I'm fine, dear. You really all right? Yes, I'll see you later on. All right, darling, I'll be there. She gets so bloody moody sometimes, I could kill her. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs>